Ever since Sebastian Stan emerged on the Hollywood scene in Captain America the First Avenger, Marvel and Star Wars fans have noticed that the Bucky Barnes portrayer bears a striking resemblance to a young Mark Hamill, who you may recall from this small science fiction movie from about 40-something years ago. Here's some money, go see a Star Wars. Hamill's run as Luke Skywalker began with the first Star Wars film in 1977 and runs up to his recent appearance in The Mandalorian Season 2 finale, which first aired in 2020. The Stan Hamill resemblance has been observed for years. Hamill himself tweeted in 2017, accompanied by side-by-side -side photos of Stan and himself, where they look like almost the same person. Sorry to disappoint you, but I refuse to say, Sebastian Stan, I am your father, even though, in fact, I am. Hamill's digitally de-aged Mandalorian cameo only increased fan excitement for a theoretical young Luke Skywalker movie or Disney Plus show, and Sebastian Stan is fans' first choice to take over the role. One Destiny-minded Star Wars fan wrote on Twitter, The existence of Sebastian Stan is itself a clarion call to tell more of Luke Skywalker's story. Sometimes the decision isn't commercial. Sometimes the stars just align and the way forward presents itself. Stan is currently promoting his new Marvel Limited series, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and reporters have asked about the idea of him playing Luke Skywalker. He said he'd love to, but only with the blessing of the real Luke Skywalker. Stan said on Good Morning America last week, if, if Mark Hamill calls me personally to tell me that he feels inclined to, uh, to, to share this role with me, then I'll believe it. Hamill has now responded to Stan's statement in an interesting way. Mark Hamill neither endorsed nor rejected Stan's apparent willingness to inherit the Force. He explained that whatever decision gets made about the future of Luke Skywalker is out of his hands. Hamill quote tweeted a post by The Hollywood Reporter staff writer Ryan Parker about Stan's statement that Hamill would have to sign off on the casting for him to accept the role, and threw some cold water on the notion that the green lightsaber would be passed in such a way. Because the reality is that Mark Hamill is not a producer of Star Wars and therefore doesn't have a say in any major casting decisions. He doesn't really even have any input on the direction Luke took in the movies. Hamill wrote, This assumes I have any say in casting decisions at Lucasfilm when, in fact, I don't. Hamill is perhaps coyly misinterpreting Stan's statement. Both actors know any casting decision is Lucasfilm's to make. Stan is just saying that he wouldn't feel right taking on the role of Luke Skywalker without Mark Hamill's blessing, should the offer hypothetically be presented. Hamill may not be a Star Wars decision maker, but his opinion about the state of the franchise matters to fans, and Hamill is keeping his opinion to himself for now. Should Luke Skywalker ever be recast with Sebastian Stan or anyone else, we can look to what Harrison Ford said about Alden Ehrenreich taking up the mantle of Han Solo and Solo for an idea of how Hamill might react. According to Yahoo News, Ford said Ehrenreich was a wonderful guy, very sweet and a very good actor, and he was delighted by the choice, though it would be a little weird to see someone else be Han Solo. If the notoriously cranky Ford was that publicly positive, it seems likely that the upbeat Hamill will be even more effusive about a new Luke Skywalker, when and if that happens. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Star Wars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.